Philippians 4 8, we are given a list of things that as Christians we should be focusing on, thinking about daily, hourly, things that are admirable, good, true, lovely, and the list goes on. Uh -uh, I don't see that. I really don't see that. I, <clears throat> there was one channel. I forget the name of it. I really do forget the name of it now. A lot of it I put out on my mind. I watched them for a while, and it was, they were always so tense, so agitated, and the news was always so horrible. I wondered how they had a moment's peace. Now, I don't even know if that was a Christian channel, I have to be honest. I don't. But um, it was a prepper channel. But as Christians, we're told, we're admonished, to think on these things, to keep our hearts and minds lifted up, to take our peace from Christ, to be at peace in Christ, it's not happening. It's not happening. And they're accountable. They will be accountable. You, you so-called Christians, with your hype and your fear and your constant horror stories, it's beyond making people aware. It's an addiction. It's fear porn. It's fear porn. And what is pornography? It's filth for the mind. And you're giving filth for the mind and the soul. You're not drawing people to Jesus. You're not giving people peace. You're having them on the edge of their seats, anxious all the time. And they get addicted to it. You're responsible for that. I, I, I have often come out against the people who keep running after it, but I can do nothing about that. But I will rebuke you people feeding them this stuff again and again, knowing full well what it is. And I know why you can do it too. See, demons... Demons don't want peace. Demons don't need peace. They want to steal everyone else's peace. I want you folks to think about that. I want you to start using discernment and seeing where you are being led by these vile people who claim to be Christian. They want to steal your peace. And they will because you'll let them.